So hello there everyone and welcome it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you FIFA's Forgotten Wonder Kids from career modes gone by. These are players that were once absolute heroes on old school career mode games but unfortunately haven't really materialised into the players we all expected them to be. There's going to be a lot of nostalgia in this video for me personally and I'm sure for you guys watching as well because there's plenty of players that I've used in career modes. As early as FIFA 07 and as late as FIFA 15, there are going to be plenty of old school wonder kids in this video. Now if you go on to enjoy it, slap a like on the video and subscribe for more career mode content in the future. It's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out. First of all though, we have got one of the ultimate lost wonder kids from the Premier League. It's Federico Makeda. All you old school Manchester United and Premier League fans will know all about this man, all about the commentary from Martin Taylor when this guy, out of absolutely nowhere, scored a goal that pretty much sealed Manchester United the title. Back in the days of FIFA 11, we all thought he was going to be a wonder kid and so did EA. He had a potential of 88, did the ex-Manchester United youngster, but it hasn't really worked out for him. He's now 70 rated and having played in Serie B for a lot of his career so far, he now finds himself in Greece with Panathinaikos. Oh man, I, you know what? I mean, he's a United player, but I kind of wish for his own sake it had worked out. And same for this man here who lit up career modes across the globe during the course of FIFA 14. This is Zachariah Bakley. How on earth it's gone so wrong for this keys in such a short space of time is beyond me. In fairness to him, he is only 22 still, but it really could have been a lot more for him. He was playing for PSV Eindhoven back on FIFA 14, where he had a potential of 90. This guy was really destined for big, big things, was the Belgian. Unfortunately, though, he finds himself back in his native land after a quick spell at Valencia. He now plays for Anderlecht, and his potential is only in the mid-70s. It doesn't really look as if he has the work ethic to really achieve those heights that were expected from him. Now we're going way back in the day. This is old school. We've gone from a recent wonder kid to an old school one. Efrain Juarez from Mexico, the centimetre right back from Vancouver Whitecaps over in the MLS, 68 rated. This man came from La Masia. He was playing for the Barcelona Young, or the Youth Academy. I mean, he played for Barcelona as a youngster. I assume he was part of La Masia. He had a potential of 90 on FIFA 07. Now, it was a lot easier to have a higher potential back in the day, but he was still predicted to be a wonder kid on FIFA 07. Did not work out for him. He's only 68 rated now. If you guys have used any of these players, drop them down in the comment section below. Make sure you let me know which ones were your favourites in your career mode saves. Now we've got Davide Santon. This is a personal favourite of mine. If you needed a left back or a right back in career mode between FIFA 10 and FIFA 12, you signed this guy from Inter Milan. Like, he was, he was always an absolute hero. It's not been that bad for him. Like, he's played at big teams. He's played for Inter for a while. He's even came to, to England, played for Newcastle for a bit. He's now at Roma, but he's only 76 rated. He really didn't hit the heights that were expected of him, which was incredibly, back in the day, 87 on FIFA 12. And he, again, for about three years in a row, was the right back you would sign on career mode. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have had him in your time on FIFA. Now, next up, we've got a very old school one. Yet again, we're back to 2007 or... FIFA 07 even, Scott Carson, currently at Derby County, back then he was playing for Charlton Athletic. A lot of things have happened to Scott Carson since then, he signed for Liverpool, he's played for England, he single-handedly made sure England didn't get to Euro 2008, but he's not let it get to him, uh, he hasn't really hit the heights of 90, which was the potential for him on FIFA 07, though it's fair to say that he has had a pretty decent career overall, he's currently at Derby, he's somehow still only 32, I genuinely thought he was about 57 by now, but he's still a spring chicken, generally speaking, down in the championship. Adnan Yanazai is the most recent of the players in this video. The man who had a potential of 87 back on FIFA 15 had a much longer spell of promise than uh, the other Manchester United player in this video, or ex-Manchester United player in Federico Makeda. Yanazai was pretty much a wonder kid for an entire season, and then it just didn't happen. Under David Moyes, he was firing really well. I think Louis van Gaal came in, didn't really see the work ethic in him. 
think a lot of people have questioned Yanazai's work ethic and his attitude and training and maybe that's why he hasn't hit the heights that were expected of him. 77 overall right now, he's still young and he could probably grow to about 80 in career mode right now playing for Real Sociedad, but again, not really what we expected in the end. Now, the next one is probably the most interesting. I find this fascinating, but Cardiff City fans, Loic Damour, who I imagine is a new recruit for you this season uh, from France, was once an absolute wonder kid. And I'm sure a lot of you don't even realise, but he's 69 rated now, 27 years of age. Don't know if he even starts for the Blues, to be brutally honest with you. But back on FIFA 09, he had a potential of 88. Now imagine if the Bluebirds had had a player of 88 rating. That would have changed up their entire season. Unfortunately, however, Loic Damour just simply is not that man. But it's interesting to see him playing in the Premier League because um, I've done a video with him in the past before and he was playing in like a second division in France so it's interesting that he's got a move to the Premier League despite being in the end a failed wonder kid. Next up is Roderick Miranda another player linked to the Premier League in the sense that as of recently he was playing for Wolves as part of the Portuguese revolution over there but now he finds himself over in Greece joining Makeda at Olympi Arcos. 71 rated, 27 years of age from Portugal, one of the slowest and least mobile defenders you'll ever see in your life but once uh, upon a time, he had a potential of 91, I do believe it was. Can't quite remember when, but he was an absolute hero back in the day, and it just simply hasn't really worked out for him. I mean, it is what it is. It's actually, sorry, it was 89 on FIFA 12. But uh, he was still a very good player to use, actually. There was plenty of good centre-backs back then, and he was really one that I'm sure a lot of you guys used. James McCarthy, maybe another one. Back when he was playing for Wigan Athletic, this man also had a very good potential. Same, actually. 89 on FIFA 10. Now, obviously, he's a, he's a regular in the Premier League. He plays for Everton. He's a decent overall. He's had a very good career, generally speaking. I mean, not many players get to play in the Premier League for pretty much their entire career. He's not done badly for himself, but... He isn't exactly the best player that Ireland have ever produced, which is what FIFA expected from him uh, back on FIFA 10. But uh, again, decent enough career for him for the central midfielder from the Merseyside club in Everton. And one of many, many other wonder kids that we just haven't seen do as well as was expected. And Ji Dong Won is another one. When the Korean League was first added back in the day, I don't know what even, I think it was FIFA 11 actually. This guy, along with quite a few other Koreans actually, had a very, very good potential. Um, for those that are Sunderland fans, you might, re you might remember him. He scored a very famous goal against Manchester City late on and sparked another beautiful Martin Tyler commentary moment but he now finds himself over in Germany playing for Augsburg 71 rated on career mode these days but back in the day he was predicted to be 89 by FIFA 11 fair to say he really hasn't reached that but 71 rating and again playing in Germany he's played in the Premier League I'm not saying these guys are complete failures they're, at the end of the day they're professional footballers but they were expected to be some of them Neymar's some of them Mbappe's I mean it, and yeah obviously that's not what has transpired inspired. Nathan Dyer is another interesting one, someone who came out of that famous Southampton Youth Academy that's produced the likes of Gareth Bale, Theo Walcott, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. It also produced Nathan Dyer, who in fairness to him is a Premier League winner with Leicester. So again, he's done alright for himself, but right now he's only 71 rated, playing for Swansea down in the Championship and 30 years of age. Back on FIFA 07, which harboured a lot of failed wonder kids actually, to be honest with you. Maybe says a lot more about EA's judgement rather than the players themselves. But he had a potential of 89 back then when he was still playing for Southampton fresh out of the Youth Academy. The final player we're going to look at though is a bit of a harsh one in the sense that he's not exactly a failed wonder kid. He is a wonder kid you probably forgot about but he's not exactly failed. He's been a captain of his country for quite some time and this is Swiss international Valon Barami who until recently was playing in the Premier League as well. Now he plays his trade over in the Serie A playing for Udinese. The central midfielder is now 76 rated but again back on FIFA 07 he had a potential outstanding of 91 and he wasn't even that young back then I think he was only about 20 he was 22 so he I mean clearly EA were thinking he was gonna be a late bloomer didn't really materialize but again he's the captain of his country he's a very good player and he's a solid one at that tends to keep central midfields together surprising that Watford actually shipped him off to Italy I don't know it, it is what it is they've got that link with Udinese so I'm not gonna judge but Valon Barami one of the actual best players or best wonder kids in this video in terms of potential had 91 back in FIFA 07. That though is going to wrap up today's video of Wonder Kids that you forgot about. Let me know down in the comment section which ones your favourites are and also if I've forgotten any then drop them down in the
the comment section below and I'll be sure to do a second one of these. If you enjoyed it though, slap a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want to follow me on social media these days too, my Twitter and Insta are at the official FNG and links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.